Zoran Craig Anderson is descending down here. This is very impressive. 80 kilometers an hour in the wet. What a move this is. And this is quite dangerous because we have the yellow jersey and Wout van Aert going clear in a sudden split. UAE are having to use a lot of firepower to bring this back together. Moric seems really strong today. Roglic is cracking on the climb. This is a move to try and put Tadej Pogacar now on the back foot. They have refused to accept the pattern of a transition day in the Tour de France. The Giro, the Welter, and now a stage in the Tour de France. They have put all the other riders five minutes and 27 seconds back. Pure racing. The Tour heads to the Alps on stage eight with the first category one climbs of this year's race. The Côte de mont saxonay the Col de Rome and the Col de la Colombière before a downhill sweep into Le Grand Bornon. They're short but steep climbs which are likely to open up big gaps overall. It's already been a super tough start to this Tour and today the rain got involved as well. Some riders were simply unable to keep pace, among them the 2018 winner Geraint Thomas. Wout Pools and Matej Mohoric were among the early attackers, but they couldn't quite get a gap. More big guns going backwards though, including Primoz Roglic. This is the moment that I think the lights go out on Primoz Roglic's Tour de France. Lots of riders still trying their luck up front, with Tade Pogacar getting into one move, but it was all back together again before the first climb, the Category 3 Côte de Copenhague. While well, Poles goes on the attack again. Great to see that Brandon McNulty now has recovered from his crash of the other day. Kenny Ellisond, Nara Quintana, Soren Craig Anderson left, led the chasing group behind Wout Poles and we're setting ourselves up for the next climb. Here goes Wout Poles. Ellison trying to get on terms here. There are 10 points at the top of this mountain. Sepkus doesn't seem to have the acceleration. And if Wout Poles goes over the top here, he will be the king of the mountains. Zoran Craig Anderson is descending down here like he's on dry roads. This is very impressive. 80 kilometers an hour in the wet. That was a very fast descent. Oh, Yoni Zagire decides to go straight on. Here is Michael Woods. He catches Tish Benut. Michael Woods has just caught Soren Craig Anderson and attacked him on this climb of the Col de Rome. Van der Poel is fighting, you know. He is not giving in in this yellow jersey. He's defended this yellow jersey with pride. This is the attack of last year's winner of the Tour de France, Tadej Pogacar. Formula has set it up. Ala Philippe is not able to respond to the attack of Tadej Pogacar. This is a huge assault by Pogacar. This is him trying to deal blows to every single other rider who dreams of winning the Tour in Paris. The defending champion, a man on a mission, reaching the top of the Col de Rome around three minutes down on the leaders. Michael Woods now up front with a small chase group on his heels. Matje van der Poel had cracked, but Wout van Aert was still in the mix for the yellow jersey. He led Pogacar by over three minutes this morning. But the Slovenian was already in the virtual race lead by the time he hit La Colombière with van Aert fading. 
Woods still leading with Jonas Aguirre, Dylan Turns and Simon Yates chasing. But Pogacar was absolutely flying up the climb. Could he get the stage win as well? Turns catching Woods 3K from the summit before going solo. Dylan Tynes now cracks Michael Woods on this steep climb to the top of the Col de la Colombière. The Belgian cresting with only 20 seconds in hand over Pogacar, but he could afford to take a few more risks as he went in search of a second tour stage victory. He had to really lean it into that turn, almost on the rim of the road there. Pagaccia is being caught, and he's been caught by Jan Izaguirre and uh, also Michael Woods. Today it's going to be Dylan Toynes. He checks behind him for the final time and makes his way up to the finish in Le Grand Bonnant. This rider has timed his attack to perfection on the Col de la Colombière, and he has ridden to the race victory. It's his second stage win in the Tour de France. Last time it was La Planche de Belfi, this time it's Le Grand Bonnard. We see the arrival of the white jersey of Tade Pogaccia heading towards the finish line. Jonas Zagire is looking for second place. Michael Woods is looking for third place on today's stage of the Tour into Le Grand Bonnard. So it's going to be Izaguirre in second, Michael Woods in third, but behind them, Tade Pogaccia has ripped through the Tour de France like a tornado and he crosses the line and will be the yellow jersey tonight. It's more or less an honor to my to my granddad who died. That's why I was pointing. We had a funeral one week before I had like a few days before I had to go to the tour. So it was a bit emotional for me this this last 10k. just decided uh, before the before the last three climbs I, I said to my teammates uh, yeah let's try uh, to, to break the race Pagacha said he would try to break the race today and that's exactly what he did Van Aert is the only man within four and a half minutes and many riders GC bids are now over The defending champion trades white for yellow, most of his major rivals over five minutes back. Mark Cavendish made the time cuts and he still has a comfortable lead in the green jersey standings. Mike Woods ended up in polka dots after an appeal. Not Wout Pools. Pagacha obviously still the best young rider and there is more climbing on the menu tomorrow. If anything you'd expect him to increase his advantage on the road to team.